Hi, I'm Sandra, the Crafty Hairdresser for Lisa Horton Crafts. Um, in this video, I'm going to show you how I made this really colourful um, sunflower embossed card. I used the Lisa Horton Crafts 3D embossing folder, the sunflower one, and um, you can just see it's absolutely stunning, just plain white. But as usual, I'm going to add some colour. So I've used my Distress Oxide inks and it's picked raspberry, carved pumpkin, squeezed lemonade, um, twisted citron and tumbled glass. And what I'm doing is just going quite heavy handed in the middle of the flower. I'm not fussed too much about the actual centre because I'm going to cover that up anyway. Um, but just going in with the different colours. So I picked raspberry and now I'm doing a carved pumpkin and just letting it fade out as it gets towards the end of the petals. Um, I just want it to have a really nice soft look towards the edges. As you can see, it just looks nice, colourful, nice rainbow. Um, I've cut out circles um, just out black cardstock and put those into the centre of the sunflowers on the embossing folder and just to give it a little bit of texture. So I'm sticking all of those on and the ones that sort of hang over the edge, I'm going to trim them off as well just to keep it really nice and neat looking. I love, I love how that looks, like the colour with the black. I just think it's um, like really eye-catching. So I'm just using my double-sided tape uh, to stick that on to a black base. And this is the easiest way that I've found, is just to stick on the two edges and then cut off the other two edges. I find it easier to centre that way. Um, I'm putting my base that's cut um, 11 inches by five and a half and scored at five and a half and I've put that in the back of it inside an envelope to keep it nice and clean so it doesn't get any ink on it. The black base just using double sided tape again and I've probably put a little bit of my acrylic glue on as well just to give it a little bit of extra strength. I'm just making sure it's really stuck down so the edges don't peel away. And now I'm putting on my glossy accents as well. And I really like that sentiment. They're these um, double layered sentiments from Lisa Horton Crafts as well. They're so nice. They're really big, um, which is something that I really, really like. It's a nice big sentiment. I think it's so eye catching. So just heat embossing that as well. Just nice and shiny black. And then I'll cut out that with the companion dies. So cut out that one and then cut out the shadow with the black. And again, I'm putting a few bits of card together just to give it a thicker, chunkier effect. I love how this looks. Again, with the rainbow colours, it's just so lovely. Anyway, um. I would just like to say thank you so much for watching. If you're enjoying these videos, please um, subscribe to my channel and Lisa Horton's channel as well. She's got some amazing people on there. Um, please like, leave a comment. It really helps with some interaction on the channel for it to grow. Um, thank you. Bye-bye.